Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today it's just going to be me. I know, so sad. <laughs> Anyways, so um, I am headed to good old Indiana tomorrow morning. Today is officially the day of, and I'm so excited. My mom checked me into my flight and I got the and QR code thing. So I start boarding at 11.30. So I should get there at 10.30. I need to leave by 9.30 because it's a 40 minute drive. Gotta add on a little bit of traffic. And then I also have to park and then walk to the airport because I'm driving myself. So yeah, it, it's gonna add up. So I need to leave by leave my house by 9.30, like be in my car and head out. So I have to be up by eight to get ready and then finish packing in the morning. So yeah, it's a process, but um, yeah, it's my first time flying alone. Usually, obviously, every time that I fly, I'm with my family or someone. So a little nerve wracking, but the airport that I'm flying out of is really, really small. Like it has like four little terminal things. So it's like pretty tiny. And I know my way around because we've been there multiple times. So <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh, I cannot, I honestly can't believe this is happening. It's just so random if you think about it. Like I know that I can do this. Like I can do this whenever I want because I'm not in school obviously. And like I have the time to like travel places. It's so weird to like, that I'm like going to a different state tomorrow. I don't know why and I don't know how to explain it. I think it's because it's Elizabeth and like we only ever see each other three times a year. And like we don't do January, we don't do like random months that don't have a school break. So it's just like, we keep telling each other, this is honestly so weird that I'm seeing you literally tomorrow. It feels like I'm like going to her house like right down the road. Like when we used to be neighbors in Indiana, that's what it feels like, but me just hopping on a plane. <laughs> I don't know, this is so weird. So anyways, today I am just going to be filming me getting ready and packing everything. So it's currently five o'clock and I'm just doing this a little bit earlier because it should be a really easy going packing, I hope, because it's only four days, so. Oh my gosh, let's get into it. So the first thing that I gotta get is my suitcase, obviously. And then I also have a carry-on, so we gotta find a book bag. Okay. Got my suitcase, this is the one that I use. She's my beauty. Um, Mark got it down for me because it was like up in the ceiling in the garage. And then for my like book bag carry-on, I'm just using this one. It was sent to me, but it's the brand, the finest quality, the Herschel, I think that's how you say it. I usually use like my school book bag, like the Jansport one that I had last year, but my sister uses it as her beach bag. So we're going with this. And I think it's cute because it's like pink. Yeah, this is this will be me tomorrow. Okay, I'm so excited. So now that we got that, we can start packing. But like, here's the thing. I don't know what to pack. It's currently snowing six to nine inches in Indiana right now. And it's currently 60 degrees here in Florida. Um, Very big difference. I've kind of adapted to the Florida weather and I have not been back to Indiana in the winter time. So I have no idea what to expect, but I was just checking the weather. Listen to this, <laughs> it's a knee slapper. So Friday night, the low is 18 degrees. Um, that's the night that we're going out, kind of ironic. Um, the low on Saturday is 30, and then the low on Sunday is 32. Literally freezing. Um, and it's also supposed to snow Monday, so knock on wood, my flight doesn't get canceled, because if it does, that's just gonna suck for Elizabeth, because she's still in school. So like, I don't really know what's gonna happen with that, but hopefully that doesn't, that's like, that just doesn't happen. I don't really know. We're, we're gonna figure it out. It's gonna be a process and we're gonna do this together. So I'm gonna look, go in my closet and just like kind of pull ideas out and see kind of what we're feeling. Okay, I have my underwear, bra, and socks all picked out. But I'm currently in my like sweatpants drawer <laughs> trying to figure out like what sweatpants to pack. So I think I'm going to pack these. So they're just regular like little jogger sweatpants, they're DSG. So I think I'm gonna pack these. And then for my airport outfit, I'm gonna do like these green wide leg sweatpants with like a gray sweatshirt like this or like a zip up and like a white tank top underneath. I don't know, I think that'd be cute for like an airport outfit with like my uh, platform Converse. But I don't know if I wanna pack more than like one pair of sweatpants. You know what I mean? Like, I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet, but that's kind of where we're at right now. But guys, guess what? We gotta use my packing cubes that I got for Christmas. And then also um, my jewelry box for my jewelry. Okay, here's what we got so far. So 
Again, those, and then this is gonna be probably Sunday's outfit. So this New York sweatshirt. So I already have a pair of black Lululemon leggings and then the flare pants. So this will probably be my Sunday's outfit. But yeah, that's literally all I have done so far. So once I come up with more things, I will show you guys. Okay, update. <laughs> There's a lot of green, like already. So we have this green uh, sweater from Miracle. I thrifted this actually. So it's kind of like a cutout like neckline. So it's gonna be like super like off the shoulder. So I have to wear like either a bra underneath with a strap showing or like a tank top. So I have this black one from Zara. So it'd be like really thin spaghetti strap. Or we go with like white and the band will be a little bit thicker. I think white looks better, but I just wish that these were like spaghetti strap, like this top. I think I'm gonna go with the white tank top underneath. And then here are the jeans that I have. I'm kind of deciding between these two Abercrombie or this pair from American Eagle. But those are the jeans that I have. They're all kind of like the same color. <laughs> They're all ripped too. So this will probably be like an option for Saturday. I don't know, this is just gonna be like my backup sweater because you always have to have a backup. We have that. I think that's really cute with like jeans and like my white Converse. Update, um, definitely overpacking. I'm not packing all of this, but the, these are my options. As you can tell, lots of neutrals. <laughs> okay, so this is the jacket that I was talking about. Um, little fleece North Face. This was in my mom's closet. So I'm bringing that as like a jacket. Then I added this pink um, hoodie as like an extra one. Then still got the jeans and then I have this like basic white t-shirt to go under anything, just a basic to have. Then this is a PJ shirt. This is gonna be a PJ shirt for literally all nights. Like I don't really need to have two different t-shirts. So for the going out night, I literally don't know um, like what to wear <laughs> or what Indiana girls wear. Um, I don't know if they wear tank tops in literally freezing weather. So I have this like white tank top. I have this black one in a short sleeve. Then just this black turtleneck, which more than likely I'll probably wear this with like boots. Or I have this black tank top or this one that I already showed you guys. So I have no idea. Or did I, I don't know if I showed you this, but I also have this as well, the black um, urban top. So I feel like I should pack the tank tops just in case because Elizabeth said sometimes they do. Like last time she went out, she like wore this t-shirt. So tank top's kind of like the same thing. So I mean, if anything, I can throw a coat over. But yeah, that's what I have so far. And I think that's literally all I need. I don't know if this is good enough, but I feel like it is. But Elizabeth said I could use her clothes if needed. All right, guys. Well, everything is packed. So everything that I showed you basically on my bed literally went into my suitcase. So all over here is my shirts. I got two sweaters, which I'm surprised that I did. Two sweatshirts. And then there's like baby shirts in here, like that black tank top. So yeah, they're all packed, ready to go. Then usually I put all of this stuff, like my socks, bras, in that part. And then here is this side. It's kind of crammed, but I literally got boots in here. So I am bringing these black boots. And then PJs, two pairs of jeans, two pairs of leggings. Well, just a regular black pair in my flare leggings and then PJs, which I already said, but yeah, that's my suitcase. Um, I did not use these because I have no idea how to use them. So there was no way that I was fitting sweaters and sweatshirts and these. Um, this is definitely more for like a summer vacation where I can fit like tiny tops, tiny tank tops. Like there's this one, but um, Sorry, please don't come for me that I didn't use them. I know that's what they're for, but like people that use these, they take like these really tiny little tank tops and they like roll them up and like you could fit like 10 of them in here. I just couldn't do that with the clothing that I'm bringing. Um, I mean, maybe you could, I don't know, but I definitely need to learn how to use these. <laughs> Ooh, I don't really know. Um, okay, she's teaching me how to pack them in the packing cubes because she came in here. <laughs> But that's how you do it apparently. Guess I was wrong. You don't need to wait till summer vacation. You just gotta learn how to pack, but I don't know how to pack, so. <laughs> she fit that whole side in the one big packing cube. As I just said that it wouldn't fit, so. I posted a TikTok 
because they filmed me packing because those are trendy and everyone said from indiana that they're not warm enough clothes but i they, they i didn't show like the North Face that I'm bringing, then I might pack this other blue coat that I have. I don't really know, but I think I should be fine. Like, the only time we'll be out and about is Friday and Saturday. Like, Sunday we'll be home all day in a warm house. <laughs> I guess we're going to dinner. I don't really know. It's fine. Elizabeth literally says, like, I mean, she has clothes you can buy. Her. No, I know. Elizabeth says that she literally just wears leggings and a sweatshirt and she's fine, and then a jacket. So, like, yeah, I'm not. But she's also used to it. But All right, I have places for like undies and socks and stuff. They're right too. there. She's rearranging my whole suitcase now. <laughs> if you li live long enough, you learn how to pack. <laughs> well, I'll show you guys the finished suitcase after if I add anything more. Depends. I have to go through my closet and see, but like my mom said, Elizabeth has stuff that I can borrow and she said that I could. So if anything, if it's like freezing, and my nose is like icicles or you know so freezing then i'll just borrow something of hers if need be but i have to sit on my suitcase because the expander's open and then the packing cube is so big that it like doesn't want to close yeah the expander part oh my gosh i was actually really easy what the heck it's a little bulging right it's like bulging right here but like it'll fit it definitely looks like it's going to explode that's for sure but hey it's packed <laughs> and i fit a lot more too so oh my gosh it literally looks like it's gonna explode right here well that is all ready to go and now it's time to pack the bag elizabeth just called me and we literally just said to each other literally see you tomorrow so weird and we were just talking about like how i've been just going out for like a random weekend <laughs> this is so funny and she told me that it's literally freezing everyone has told me that so um but we just like went over the game plan for tomorrow so um i get in around three and then um we're heading over like basically as soon as we get home heading over to her friend's house um, and we're just like hanging out all day and then yeah, it's just kind of fast because I get there at 3 And then we need to leave the house at like 4 30 ish <sighs> So yeah, it's gonna be very on the go day tomorrow But um just wanted to share the plans But I I really got to do this because I have so much other things to get done other than packing like I have two videos to edit so I We're gonna we're gonna get going Okay, this stuff is all going in my book bag. So I have my purse because I'm bringing this. And then I also have like my wallet if I don't want to bring my purse. And then digital camera that I bought, charger, charger for the camera. AirPods, which I think they're charged. I'll have to double check. And then we need to fill my jewelry box. And then this perfume, which is just gonna go in my purse. Um, but let's go to the bathroom. Okay. Now that I'm thinking about it though, like the jewelry that I wear is like the everyday jewelry. Like I don't even know what I'm packing this. Cause like my earrings I'll wear, my necklace I'll wear, and then my rings I'll wear. So like I really don't need this until I like need different types of jewelry. So I don't think I'm gonna bring this. So first things first, hair. We're gonna start from the top of my head, like work our way down. So hair, um, I need two clips. Obviously, because you know, gotta get the hair out of the face. Rollers, because of my bangs, we do this when we style my hair. Then straightener, because we have to straighten my hair, which my sister has it. Hold on. Straightener, check. Um, a few ponies. I'll bring this pony, and then I need it. I feel like Elizabeth will have hair stuff if I need it. Like I'm not too worried about that. Like, she's gonna have lotion that I can borrow, obviously, so I don't need a pack of lotion. The thing about having a best friend that you've known for literally so long, you just literally borrow everything that they have, like, if you're visiting. <laughs> it's all my birthday stuff. I haven't, like, taken it out of the box because I just haven't. <laughs> so, dry shampoo. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about that. Okay. Tresemme. I hope this is color safe. Let's say zero parabens, dyes, mineral oil. So as long as it has none of that, then it should be color safe. I don't really know, but this is the only travel size 
conditioner and shampoo that I have. We'll have hair spray. I was gonna say texture spray for my hair for when I curl it, but I should be good on that. Um, here's all my travel size toothpaste, but we haven't gotten to the face yet and like mouth. <laughs> We're going in order, baby. Oh, here we go. Dove like mm, body lotion, body wash. Perfect. I have this hairbrush, which I could bring because it's a lot smaller in size than the one that I use. So I'm going to bring this new hairbrush. Ooh. I think that's everything for hair. So next is like skincare, makeup, and all of that. But let me first put this back. Makeup wipes. Check. I wish I had the mini ones. That kind of sucks. Um, skincare. And then I, this is my moisturizer that I use, but it's so big that I don't want to take that. This is my travel size one, actually. Just basically scooping it into this little small container. I don't need a lot because I usually use like about one pump every night so i feel like that should be good for moisturizer i know i have a travel size toothbrush but i don't know where it's at but i still need that so now for makeup so i'm gonna grab all of my makeup and put it in a makeup bag and then just pull it out in the morning when i do my makeup okay i have everything packed up um this is like shampoo and body wash, all makeup, and then I have makeup wipes and all my hair stuff, and then straightener and then hairbrush. Um, I have a little deodorant in my car, which I need to go get to put in here so I don't forget it. Um, because I have this one, but I really don't want to pack this, and I don't. I think it's too big to take on the airplane. So I'm gonna go get my little one. And then after that, I'm basically done because that's literally all I need for tomorrow morning. And then like my phone and then my phone charger, obviously I won't forget. Um, I'm bringing my camera. I need to get a tripod. So we're gonna do that. So these batteries are for my camera. So we're just going to unplug them because they're charged and place them on here. And then I'm bringing this tripod for my camera. Okay, airport outfit, check. Bag unpacked, obviously packing in the morning. Suitcase is packed. Now here is all the stuff that I have to pack in the morning and then my bathroom. So we're, we're done. Okay guys, so I took a shower and finally finished packing. <laughs> it honestly wasn't as stressful as I usually make it. I think it's only because it's like four days and it's not like a week or something. I think it'd be a different story if it was like five days or that only adds a day. I mean like a week. <laughs> um, but I cannot believe that I fly out in 12 hours. Exactly, I think. Um, crazy, insane, mind boggling. So I am filming the whole entire weekend on my channel. So it will be like one combined video of Friday, Saturday, and Sunday and Monday. Me and Elizabeth might film like a separate video on Sunday. It, all, it really just all depends of like everything that we do. So crazy, that's gonna be some Elizabeth content. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you very soon at back for more videos. Bye guys.